Hi angels, welcome to this sewing video. In today's video, I'm filming myself create a tote bag and this is just part one because I messed up, which you'll see towards the end of the video. <sighs> you know, mistakes happen. Like, it, this is just my journey to sewing as a beginner and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. I hope you guys I hope you guys sew along with me. Try this pattern with me. I'll leave the description link in the bio. I bought it from Etsy. Stay tuned towards the end of the video to see where I messed up on exactly. I hope you guys enjoy. As you can see behind me, I have all my pattern pieces cut out already. There's only a few pieces, it's not crazy. The pattern was very easy to follow at first i got confused i thought the pattern was a lot smaller than what it was but i just read it wrong so the instructions call for to making the strap first which is very simple here i have my strap piece and i'm just gonna first iron this and flatten it out in these clips you can see me just pressing the strap making sure it's flat first then I'm going to fold it in half that way I can see where the center point is and then I'm going to fold two sides towards the inward fold and then I'm going to fold it once more and sew it shut. I have it pressed and the next part is just to sew along the two edges. So we have this strap here. Something is definitely going on with the thread. I'm not sure if this is because of tension problems or if it's because of the fabric and I did it like bad against the green line or if it's my sewing machine. I'm really not sure what this is from but it's really making the strap like a little janky and I'm not in love with it. But it's another thing I have to learn. If you guys know, please comment and let me know. Cause I just don't know where exactly to go to look for help, honestly. So, but we got the strap done. This is like what the top part of the bag is gonna look. Just the strap, of course. Here I have my flap pieces. And what I'm going to do is match them up. They're supposed to be wrong sides together. Or I mean wrong sides facing up because we're going to flip this inside out. So right sides facing together. And then I'm just gonna pin this and then serge it. So I have the flap surged and what I did on the corners was like cut little triangles so that way it reduces the bulk when you flip it around, supposedly. Okay, it works. Yeah, it definitely reduces the bulk because if I had it cut the little edge it definitely would be a lot more bulky i need to top stitch the flap first i need to press it and then i'm going to top stitch it i think just to make it look nice and a little bit more flat i've stitched the side so this is called a top stitch and i don't know what it is but there's like little black specks it's gonna have to be from the serger because that's the only black um, like thread I have on it'd be nice if I had like a red thread for my serger but I only have white and black so yeah that's what it's looking like so far this fabric I really can't tell what's the right side and the wrong side I'm just telling you if you guys are doing this with me I'm gonna fold it so that way the right sides are facing together wrong sides outwards and then I'm gonna stitch along the sides besides the folded side this is the folded side right here I'm gonna fold I'm gonna stitch on these three sides and leave and then leave a little opening so that way I can flip it outwards. Here I'm just going to cut off the ends. After flipping this inside out, you're going to want to just sew the whole shut with the top stitch, I believe. And then also make sure to poke out the corners. That's what cutting the edges are for so that you could make the corners nice and sharp. 
I try doing it sharp. Before I forget, I want to line the fabric with interfacing. So I'm going to flip this so it's wrong side facing upwards. And then I'm going to apply this interfacing on. I'm just going to press it on basically. First I got to match it up as best as I can. In order to apply facing, interfacing, you just want to hold it down. You don't want to move the iron around. You just want to hold it down. It's going to fuse together. This is supposed to be the pocket and it's going to be sewn on the right side of the fabric. So I believe this is the flat part. So you open it up and then there's a the pocket right there. So I'm just going to sew these two sides in the bottom and leave this part open. I messed up. I messed up big time for sure. Um, I did the pocket upside down. It's not supposed to be sewn on the bottom side. This is the bottom side. So I need to take off the pocket. So hopefully it's easy to take off. I'm just going to seam rip this up. I definitely messed up the bag. I'm going to need to get some more fabric. So I'm going to have to go to the fabric store once again. And just buy at least like half a yard because the leftover fabric I have is just not enough. See, the thing is when I tried seam ripping off, the patch it just creates little holes in the bag so as you can see it's a little hard to tell on the camera but there's just little holes in the middle of the fabric and that's just not gonna look professional nor good at all this I'm gonna redo the pocket and then I'm gonna have to cut a new piece of fabric and I'll just go fabric shopping tomorrow cuz I'm really not trying to go to the fabric store right now thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe it really helps my channel a lot as you know i'm very i'm still new growing just count your blessings every single day thanks